of Mad as a Go. Today I want to talk about Australian politicians because I've noticed a pattern, right? I sometimes watch the news and I try to keep somewhat up to date with what's going on politically so when voting time comes around I can actually make a educated opinion with my ballot form, unlike other people who take it like some sort of joke and just scrape across it or write a, you know, I'm a penis on it or draw a dick on it and then put it in and waste everyone's fucking time. And that annoys me even more because even though the Labour Party was somewhat crumbling in most people's eyes, you've got to remember the Labour Party was in control when we got through the recession. And as far as the Western world's concerned, we were really lucky. We didn't have massive foreclosures or anything like that going on. Yes, a lot of businesses failed and whatnot, but we did pretty good considering. Look at America. They didn't do so great with that fucking global financial crisis. And the fact of the matter is, Labour Party was in control when it happened. They made the decisions. That's why we got through it. But when voting time comes around, and my generation's ready to vote, they all act like dicks. And they just do dicks on them and just fuck it up and just waste everyone's goddamn time so then all the dickheads who think the Liberal Party, who just constantly fucks up, let's face it, Tony Abbott's whole political career is like an epic fail montage. It's just shit. Go look at him as the health minister. Go look up the facts about him. He's fucked, right? So you didn't take any time to make an educated opinion. He got in charge and everyone whinged about it even though they, some of them were the people who did this stupid donkey voting shit and all this. Anyway, so I find, you know, even though I don't fully respect politicians or the political system, I'm still going to keep one, one step ahead of them, or at least on par with them, so I can make a decision that will actually do something. It might be very small, but it, it, at least it's something. I've put my effort in. Anyway, now we're stuck with this Tony Abbott guy, and he's going on about everything, but the main issues going on in Australia. Australia, which all people who vote can relate to. He's going on about boat people. Not many of us citizens of Australia know much about boat people. We know what we've seen on the news and maybe some articles we read on the paper or in the internet box thing. You know, we don't really know what we're talking about when it comes to boat people, but it's the only thing they ever fucking harp on about. When Julia Gillard got into power, boat people. When Tony Abbott was running, boat people. It's always fucking boat people since like 2000. It's just boat people, boat people, boat people. And whenever something that is easily politically manipulatable, which you can turn into votes, comes up, they fucking ignore it. Like, Today Tonight gave Ted Bailey the best chance to take something and spin it into fucking votes or at least, you know, um, support from his fucking public. But instead he just denies that he knows anything about it. And I'm talking about those gangs, the ones that go around the city beating on innocent people and, you know, do robberies and there's, they've got guns and they're like full on almost terrorists that live within our country, which live within your um, electorate. You have to know about this. We all know about it. We may not have been affected, but we fucking, we, we know it's there. But no, instead of using it and using it and turning it into support and votes, no, he just goes, oh, I haven't heard about that. I haven't heard about that. And then, let me guess, he's going to go on about fucking boat people and immigration? They're, they're a fucking one-note group. The whole lot of them. Boat people. Boat people. Fucking boat people. I'm fucking sick of hearing the phrase boat people. I don't give a fuck anymore. Do whatever the fuck you're going to do with the boat people off the side. I don't want to hear about it. We've got actual issues going on, like how methamphetamine is spreading through the country, and it's getting to the point where it's common. Oh, yeah, I know someone who does methamphetamine. Like, you shouldn't know people who do methamphetamine. I mean, it's fucking poison, but it's spreading through the suburbs like, you know, Broad Meadows and fucking Frankston and that and going through and affecting a lot of people, a lot of voters, a lot of voters that are affected by it. And instead of going on about that, you go on about something that's happening around our borders. You know, maybe some people on the coast are worried about it, but most people inland, which is the majority of the fucking population, don't know what the fuck you're going on about. We, most of us haven't seen it firsthand or seen what they do. We know what we're seeing 
seen on the news, but you just keep going on about this one fucking thing. Even this morning, I turn on ABC News 24, 24 hour news coverage, two hours of a guy going, well, with boat people and fucking boat people, we've got to offshore processing and all this. We understand the basics, just do it in a humane way. Don't leave them in cages and shit, just process them. If they're bad, yes, get rid of them. If this guy's like gone around his whole city and just raped everyone, and the reason why he's coming here is to get away from the police or, you know, the authorities in his country, yeah, fuck him off. But all the innocent people that they go on about, you see pictures on the news of all these fucking little kids and shit on a boat with their parents scared, you know, that all these people are coming out with fucking uniforms and probably guns and shit. And they just keep going on about it. You just want to keep showing that footage. Keep making it either bad or good, bad or good, bad or good. Just fuck with the public on that one thing. But it doesn't work because we've all lost goddamn interest. That's why I kind of understand why people just didn't give a shit when it came to voting time. I don't agree with it because it fucks it up for everyone. But I understand where they're coming from. How can you even respect what these people say when all they ever go on about is fucking boat people and population control? We have vast areas of Australia that are completely empty. That's not common in Western countries, okay? We don't, they don't have that everywhere. Like, you know, full 500 kilometer spaces that are just completely empty, no houses, no nothing, just nature. Not everywhere has that. But we're still going on about population control, population control. To use the fucking methamphetamine thing, have your fucking police go out and try and close the factories down in the compounds who make this shit. That will, you get footage of them hauling like fucking a ton of of methamphetamine away from someone's fucking laboratory, that's something that will get goddamn voters. You made the street safer, but all you could worry about is the little border around the edges. Jesus Christ. And the fact of the matter is most of the people, boat people, are just civilians trying to get away from war and whatnot. Oh, we should really worry about them. Don't worry about all these gangs and criminals and drug syndicates. We'll just ignore that and not even use that. You, what are you, goddamn retarded? You start using that shit. Use your fucking brain. You've been milking this boat people thing really hard for the last four years. I mean, they have been milking it. If it was a cow, its udders would be fucking red raw and bloody because they've been milking it so goddamn hard. They've almost yanked the teeth straight off. It's almost just obliterated. I mean, you know, most civilians did care when it first came up. Boat people? Okay, what is that? And then it gets explained to you and you're like, well, yeah, we should process them. The end. You know? <laughs> if they're okay, give them visas. If they can work and they can communicate, da 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 do the processing, let them in, or turn them away if they're fucking crazy. Simple. Da da! I explain that in like under a minute, but no, let's milk this and keep going on and 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 on. You know what's gonna happen next time at election time? Nobody's gonna vote. Because that's all they'll fucking say. But we're gonna take care of boat people. And what about Tony Abbott's idea with the internet? Oh, okay, we'll install fiber optic cables, but instead of running it directly to the house so they can get a, you know, the benefits of using this very expensive cable, instead we'll send it to a node, which will then send it through the primitive copper wire to the house, basically changing the service, mm, probably zero percent. Well fucking done. He goes on about boat people, he knows nothing about technology, he was a shitty health minister, and he sucks balls more than anyone on the planet. I'm pretty sure if you get your testicles out in front of Tony Abbott, you better fucking have a harness that ties you down by a fucking crater or something because his vacuum mouth will suck so hard you'll just go flying off the ground into his mouth. And you don't want to be walking around being attached to Tony Abbott's face via your testicles. It's fucking not right. And even if you have ovaries, he'll suck them right out of the vagina. And you can be standing 100 feet away and you'll just go like, <laughs> and just fucking ovaries, ripped out, crazy. This guy is fucking in charge, budgie smuggling dickhead. Oh my God, his decisions, one are, and oh yeah, yeah. Let's get rid of pensions. Yeah, pensions just across the board. If they get rid of the dole and just make it work for the dole, I can understand that. If you make it that you have to earn that 400 and whatever a month, or a fortnight, sorry, yeah, you have to go out and do some sort of like volunteer work. You can have these people who you call dole bludgers out cleaning up rubbish and making our country more clean or, you know, just out cleaning windows, just doing those odd jobs that no one would, you know, honestly be paid for. If they're going to be on the dole, make them do these public services. Um, 
you're going to save money on getting, you know, paying these companies to outsource it out to you. You have city cleaners, but they charge like premium prices. You've got people who are going to get 450 a fortnight doing this. A fucking savings is called using your brain, but they're too fucking dumb. And did you realize that pensions also include politicians? But I, I'm pretty sure it won't. If they get rid of the pensions, they'll get rid of everybody's pensions, but not theirs. Don't touch my travel allowance. Don't you dare touch my 100k a year. It's probably more than that. It's probably more like 500k a year. Have you seen the fucking palaces these people live in? John Howard's been out of politics for quite some time now, but I'm pretty sure he's enjoying his 500k a year. But no, we better get rid of the pensions for like the elderly people, people who can't work. But some of these people can't even walk. Some of these people, even at this time with their pension, don't have enough to survive. But let's get rid of them. That's good for the nation. Um, hello, Tony Abbott. There's a reason why we have so many people trying to come to this country. It's because of initiatives like that, how we look after our citizens. When you look after your citizens, you get productive workers. Why do you think so many people from Asia and from Africa even, and even from Sudan and all over the goddamn globe are coming to a country at the fucking ass end of the world? Why? Because we have universal health care. If you're a citizen of the country, you your health will be taken care of. It's not like America where you go into a fucking hospital and it ends up costing you like $5,000. No, this does not happen. I went in with a large bump on my head. They examined it. It took a long time, used a lot of their resources and everything, and it only cost me $155. Now, most people who don't live in Australia and don't have these privileges have heard that and gone, shit, that's awesome. I want to move there and become a citizen, and I wouldn't goddamn blame you. But Tony Abbott's idea of a better Australia Australia is getting rid of all the incentives to enjoy this country and turning it into basically America. I'm not saying that America's a bad place or saying anything about the people, I'm just saying that their government fucks them very, very, very hard. Their government fucks them without a rubber and doesn't care. Their fucking government's dick is an AIDS, hepatitis, fucking gonorrhea infested fucking wasteland that goes up the ass of every citizen, making them, you know, pay thousands of dollars just to look after their families, making them pay all this exorbitant amount of money for schooling and whatnot and having like really terrible laws. I mean, yeah, okay, every citizen has to carry a gun. That's in the constitution. Um, single shot guns. I mean, that's a lot better than having like automatic rifles. You, we all know about these big travesties like, you know, the ones that happened at Columbine and the Texas, you know, college shooting and all this. Um, there's a reason why these things happen. When you give your fucking citizens army assault rifles, it leaves a lot of temptation to do a lot of damage. I mean, single shot guns, boom, you fix the gun problem. Universal health care, not giving all your fucking taxes to big corporations. That's fucking bullshit. I get pissed off not at America. A lot of people make fun of America. I make fun of their government because just, just like our government, in the way it's going, it's the same problem. I'm seeing the future if Tony Abbott and the Liberals stay in control. They stay in control. We become America. And trust me, if you haven't been there, if you don't know anything about America, they do honestly get fucked by their government and it's fucking bullshit. They do some things okay so on the surface it looks fine and they fuck them every other way from underneath. It's fucking horrible. People over there working on minimum wage. Over here, I'm on minimum wage. I make $19 an hour. I've heard stories of people over there making $3.50 an hour having to work 12 hour days just to scrape by on the bare minimum and oh you have kids doesn't matter you get that fucking minimum wage and you try to survive at least over here we have pensions and whatnot so young innocent children aren't brought up by people who didn't get a full-on education and whatnot and are having trouble finding work you know what happens when you get rid of those benefits we're gonna see a lot of homeless children that isn't a good fucking image for Australia the whole throw shrimp on the barbie crack open a tinny will be flushed down the drain it'll be turned into a fucking ghetto with fucking kids crawling around the street looking for food, eating little animals and fucking killing their pets just so they can eat. That's what he wants to turn it into. Why? Because he's retarded fuck. What he wants is Canberra to look like Hollywood and the rest of Australia to look like South Central LA in the early 90s. That's what this dickhead wants. And ethnic relations, he's a fucking racist. He's a goddamn racist. He had problems with the apology. There was nothing wrong with the apology. The only problem being that they didn't really follow it up with enough action afterwards. I mean, an apology says a lot, but you've got to have some action happen after that. Tony Abbott wasn't all for that. He said, oh, afterwards it's a good idea once the public were all cool with it, but 
Do you reckon he was against John Howard not making the apology back in the day? No, he probably didn't even give a shit. He probably agreed with him. He's a fucking racist shit. And he only takes advantage of, you know, doing little photo shoots with people. He doesn't do any affirmative action to help relations with uh, amongst the, you know, races here in Australia. All he's worried about is boat people and getting his fucking $500 thousand. Yeah, what, I can't even talk anymore. Get rid of his pension. Get rid of all these shitty politicians' pensions who don't give a fuck about this country. I care about this country. I enjoy all of its luxuries. And I'm so happy that my my people of Australia, that includes everyone, no matter what your creed or race, it doesn't matter. We are all Australians. You're a citizen. You're Australian. And you enjoy all the benefits that this country has to offer. That's why you came here. And I know that's why you came here. And it was a good decision. But unfortunately, Tony Abbott wants to take your good decision decision and shove it straight up your ass. So I say, fuck him. He's a fuck. Get back on your cycle. All right, go do some Lance Armstrong shit. Go do some steroids and rage out on your family, you fuck. Cunt. Anyway, that was mad as a goat.